Welcome Pisces. You've come through to the gifted hermit. My name is Elizabeth. Welcome to all my newbies and welcome to my oldies. <laughs> the oldies but the goodies. Now shouts out to everybody that has been showing me love. Pisces, you gave me the most views on all my videos. I've been on uh, YouTube for six weeks. And um, yeah, I was really chuffed with that. So thanks, Pisces. Uh, going straight in, as you can see. The free natured fall. This could be um, past energy for you, Pisces. This could be past energy because it's coming up as my past energy card. What I feel like maybe it's also coming into the now position. And for those of you that don't know, the four represents um, a young, free character, right? Very unique person. And they're ready to leap into the unknown. As you can see here in the illustration, he's on a cliff, he, he's not looking down. There's no fear there. He's being warned by his beloved dog. Um, this, somebody could be blinded themselves to the, from the truth, right? Or, Maybe you're just feeling really optimistic. I can't remember what we spoke about last week, but I really resonated with you guys. And I don't really want to remember. I just want to keep going as I see things. And ultimately, whatever I said, it's almost like there's new beginnings, you know? You guys are on to brighter horizons, maybe. Maybe you're ready to fall in love. <laughs> Um, looking for quick answers, perhaps. The Hermit came up for you guys. And the Hermit is about um, being withdrawn. Maybe from, maybe you've been withdrawn from your family. Because the Ten of Gabriel came up as a clarifier card. And that's quite... Um, a good card but maybe you are or have been withdrawn from family maybe you're searching for for the inner answers you know because the hermit represents Virgo there could be a Virgo in your life Pisces um, maybe some of you think that I don't know your family, there could be family members that think you're too clever or think you know it all. For some of you, you might be going through that. You could be on a new path and family are not really being supportive. For those of you looking for love or perhaps a certain somebody has recently come into your life, Half of you wants to go with it, and then half of you is being maybe a bit wary. This could be a fire sign. Could also be an air sign, could also be a water sign. I mean, I'm, this is very general. But um, the hermit, it also represents the most secret part of your of your being, you know? The stuff that you don't tell anybody, you know? You think it, but you don't do it. So maybe that's the situation here. Could be with family members. Maybe some family members need to hear your truth, dear Pisces. Um, this is in the future position. It's the Page of Wands. And this is the messenger. <laughs> also fire element. So fire, um, just to clarify, is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries in your life. 
but you could also be picking up this these qualities right of the page of wands maybe you're willing to go in a new direction for some reason i'm really picking up on family um i don't know maybe people don't like the new you look how they're very looking in different directions as well like maybe there's some bickering going on going on well not even bickering because it looks like these lot ain't even listening to each other i don't want to hear what you got to say that sort of attitude you know um but yeah this is taking a chance so perhaps you need to take a chance on this love because i'm also getting that energy here maybe pisces you really do need to take a chance on this person I definitely see love for you guys. I don't know if the lover's card came up for you guys um, last week. But it's come up this week. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think maybe you guys are really... Someone don't want to hear something. I think it's you, Pisces. Maybe you're denying your feelings towards this person, this other person. For some of you, it could be a Gemini. Like I said, the lover's card came up. But all elements are coming here. So it's it's non-specific. But Pisces, getting back to you, you are denying your feelings here, right? With somebody. Um, or you don't want to hear it. <laughs> You don't want to hear what someone's got to say. Maybe you need to. Perhaps you or somebody's being defensive. Or you're going to be defensive about this situation. You're like the cool cat. You're like, I don't need nobody. Yeah, I think I definitely said that last week. <laughs> I don't need nobody. We all need somebody, but maybe perhaps right now you're cool with that, yeah? But I definitely feel that you, somebody's putting up the barriers here and it's probably to do with love or family. Career's not coming up here, but we did have bottom of the deck. Um, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. And this is a beautiful card. But if we look at the illustration, perhaps your family, or maybe I've just got it, perhaps family members are not liking your new lover or the fact that you're so happy and you're just getting on with it. It doesn't have to be a new lover. It could be just, it could be you've been married to this person for years and your family is still nagging and like you don't need them and blah, blah, blah. But Pisces, you know what's right for you, don't you? You've got to know your worth. I don't know the situation. I'm not feeling like anything's toxic here. Um, yeah, maybe some of you've got family members that are like, no, don't go there. I told you about this one. I told you about, you know... Well, you ain't going to listen to no one, really, because it's just like, with every action, there's a reaction. And it's so cliche, but if you don't, if people are like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, nine times out of ten, you're going to do it. And this came out like, it was like, so perhaps you need to have confidence with whatever this is. This new love, I feel. Look how she's got her toes dipped in the water. But the other one's, oh, a bit scared. Some of you are horny, man. <laughs> Don't deny it. Right, moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us. If your confidence wavers, and we will grow your courage and faith.
you know, somebody's ready to to get busy. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's quite lovely to see. I mean, don't hold back, life's too short, right? Obviously, look out for the red flags. Red flags are important. You know, there's like some sort of juggling here, juggling family and your love life, right? Who to, who to go to. But this is, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, but I'm going to say... Lastly, that if your family love you, like truly love you, which they should do unconditionally, they want to see you happy, right? So if you're happy, then they should accept whoever this person is that you're with or who you're going to be with or who, whatever you're deciding. It doesn't have, you know, singles. This could be, oh, I don't know. This is very general. Sun, moon, rising. You'll have to check yours to get a bigger reading and then you read those videos. But yeah, you're definitely jogging. Who to listen to for some reason? Listen to you, Pisces. I mean, fuck that. Do what makes you happy. Um, please hit the like button. Again, thank you for so much for all the love, all my new subs. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. I'm putting in the work and I'm getting it back with all the comments and the likes. It really makes me want to pursue this further. So yeah, have a beautiful, beautiful Thursday and I will catch you next Thursday when I do your reading, okay? Lovely Pisces, ciao, ciao from Elizabeth to me, to you, peace.